Today, as we continue in the secret of spiritual fitness, I just want to focus on the question, who am I? And this is a subset of the uh, topic, personality and spirituality. Before we go further, let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Thank you, dear Father, for allowing us another opportunity whereby we can look into our personality and spirituality. Be with us and direct us. May the Holy Spirit inspire us so that the very things that we learn would be a sort of motivation for us even as we speak to, seek to obtain spiritual fitness. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, the question, who am I? Now, I hold a beast, an angel, and a madman in me. And my inquiry is as to their working. And my problem is their subjugation and victory, down true, and upheaval. And my effort is their self-expression. Road play writer Dylan Thomas. We recognize that we are a mix of different natures, some of which are at war within us. The Apostle Paul also understood this when he described his own internal battles. We know that the law is spiritual, but I am unspiritual. Soul as a slave to sin. I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. As it is, it is no longer I myself who do it, but it is sin living in me. I know that nothing good lives in me. That is, in my sinful nature for well, i have the desire to do what is good but i cannot carry it out for what i do is not the good i want to do no the evil i do not want to do this i keep on doing now if i do what i do not want to do it is no longer i who do it but it is sin living in me that does it so I find this law at work. When I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being, I delight in God's law. But I see another law at work in the members of my body, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work within my members. What a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ, O Lord. And that's uh, Romans 7, 14 to 25. In the book, please understand me that the tales, the Mel's Brig type indicator, David Kersey and Marilyn Bates explain that people are rightly different. The point of this book is that people are different from each other and that no amount of getting after them is going to change them. Nor is there any reason to change them because the difference are probably good, not bad. People are different in fundamental ways. They want different things. They have different motives, purposes, aims, values, needs, drives, impulses, urges. Nothing is more fundamental than that. They believe differently. They think, cognize, conceptualize, perceive, understand, comprehend, and cogitate differently. And of course, manners of acting and emoting Governed as they are by wants and beliefs, follow suit and differ radically among people. Based on the analysis of 
four prime retreats in a combination. 16 different personality types are distinguished. In the book referred to earlier, it provides an in-depth analysis of how these types operate and how they differ from one another in perception and behavior. So far, for example, E and F, G are outstanding leaders, while I, S, F, G are nurses and teachers. If all different personality types tend to indicate what kind of career we choose, it's not surprising that they will also affect the kind of spiritual lives we choose. Understanding this helps us see that we will be our very natures choose, oh, sorry, we will by our very natures choose different spiritual paths, different methods, and different ways of thinking. This does not mean that every attitude and action is inappropriate, spiritually, speak, spiritually speaking, but it does leave room for tolerance and appreciation for different ways of spiritual development. As we have seen, physical training uses many different methods to develop fitness in different ways. Weight training, rowing, swimming, running, and so on. So it is in our spiritual lives. We should aim to train in ways that work for us Remembering that we are not to choose simply what is easiest for us. So even as we, 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 we conclude the whole issue of who am I, we see that we all possess uh, different personalities. And because we, we possess different personalities, there are different qualities within us that would uh, motivate and help us to operate from day to day. And likewise, this is being, would affect our spirituality. And we should find out those qualities within us uh, for which we will best operate and utilize them by the grace of God to develop spiritually and to obtain our spiritual fitness. Merciful Father, God of love, once more, we give you praise and thanks for being so good to us, for bringing these information to us so that we can allow your presence to so affect us and infect us to the extent that our spiritual fitness can be guaranteed not by might or by power, but by your spirit. Thank you, we pray once more in Jesus' precious name. Amen.